Hey guys, this is Kenjido and welcome to another Make Shot Pro video. Today we're going to look at creating a sort of soft, dreamy photographic technique. So for this technique, it's pretty quick and it's pretty straightforward, but I'm going to just show a few things we can do to kind of enhance the overall effect. Uh, but how, how it ends up is really just going to be up to you and what you think looks better for the images you're working with. For me, I think it's, I, I have found that this works well, or at least in my mind, applies often when taking photographs of babies. Uh, so this is an image I got from Pexels, super cute baby. And one of the first things I'm going to do is just duplicate. And this is just so that we can more easily see the difference in the effect of what we're going to do. So ignore the background and let's assume that this is our starting image. Now this is purely optional, but for me, I think the dreamy effect goes very well hand in hand with sepia toning of an image. So as you can see, if we go to effects, effects, photo effects, sepia toning. Um, and you can adjust this slider to whatever value you kind of like. I think 60 uh, is pretty good for me. And, and really all this adjusts is just how much saturation of the sepia tone color is being applied. You'll see that if you bring it down, it looks like grayscale. And if it's all the way up, it's just very, very brown. Um, but 60 is kind of where I like, at least at this point. So now we've sepia toned, and so the very basic concept of this effect is just simply to duplicate, and then on this top layer, apply and adjust blur Gaussian blur. And again, this is gonna be another area where you'll want to play with just like how soft and fuzzy do you really want everything to be. And then we're just gonna bring the opacity down. And uh, you know, 50 seems to work pretty well. And you know, in some ways it might actually be better to do the opacity first and then start adjusting the Gaussian blur because then you can see it a little bit easier as you're applying the effect. So let's try that. Let's reduce our opacity to like 50. Go to adjust blur, Gaussian blur, and then now you can kind of see it as, you know, the effect is being applied and then you can decide like how much of that softness you want to do. Now, at this stage, you could be done and say, hey, I like that. It's a nice, you know, softened image. In fact, if we create a new layer group, and bring everything in here, then we can much more easily see sort of the difference in the two. And then if you wanted to, you could even just use this, uh, turn this layer on and off to see the effect of the softening. But uh, a lot of times I think some, you know, a lot of the focal point or certain details that are kind of key to the image get lost, which is unfortunate. Um, but what we can do is on this top layer, if we wanted to bring some of that detail back, is we can say, create a mask and show all. And then on here now, what we can do is with a regular paintbrush, and I would recommend very low hardness, um, you know, you choose the size, and then even like a reduced opacity, set your color to black, and then set your, you know, set your stroke to black, set your fill to white, and this will allow on the mask to be able to, you know, erase, if you will, by painting black, and then unerase by painting white if you go a little bit too far. And then all this is doing is just allowing some of that bottom layer detail to show through. So we don't want all of this. We only want, say, like the face to show through. So you can see the difference by, by using this mask. It's just bringing out more of the detail here, maybe even up here where the flower is. And then even though the photo is softened, you still have sort of this little bit of focus still on the face. And so then if we compare original with our new sepia toned and softened image, we can just turn the layer group on and off. And that's it. So that's it for this one. Just a quick you know, tip or tutorial on how to create softened photo images. This definitely isn't a new technique, um, but adding the mask uh, just you know, adds a little bit of more you know, enhanced detail if you feel like that improves your image as a whole.
Anyway, if you have any questions or would like to suggest more content, feel free to leave a comment. If you would like to get updates of new content that I post, go ahead and click the subscribe button. And if you would like to support me and the channel, check out my Patreon page, which is on the link shown on the TV. And I'll see you guys next time.